Well, how's it going, Kingsman? I hope you guys have all been well, staying safe and all that. Welcome back to the Napoleonic Battlefield. Today, we have a 3v3, not a 4v4 this time. Uh, but quite honestly, the plays looked amazing. And uh, there's some good players on both sides. Some really, really close kills and losses for both. And actually, it sounds like it goes to the entire time. Now, of course, we are looking at the Coalition's perspective. Um... This is, of course, you can see the 8-point Austria, 9-point Russia, and then a 9-point Spain. And they're going to be with, I believe, I know there's a Naples army in here, and then two French armies. Uh, looks like a 6-point Naples, a 9-point France, Italy, and an 11-point France, Alemaine, which I love the 11 points here for France. has some amazing, some amazing infantry they can bring. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously the coalition can be very balanced. Each person is taking the same amount of points, which actually may work in their favor versus depending on the French. Uh, they're going to depend on their two heavier pointers uh, to kind of have maybe six-point Napoli, you know, be defensive. Now, you can already see some Chasseur Cheval making a scouting mission here, um, kind of viewing the battlefield, seeing where the enemy is. Spain appears to be taking this town. I do like that they have Spain in the field. Most people may not care for Spain. I like Spain. I'm not very good at playing them, but they definitely are a force to be reckoned with, especially when played right and bring in once you bring that right build. Um, yeah, it can be really exciting. Now, before we get into the battle, I want to uh, talk about a couple things uh, people were asking about, and I'm going to kind of clarify here. So yes, 9.4, the next version of this mod has come out. I will do a how to install tutorial once I am installing it, but I'm not installing it yet, guys. I got a lot of replays to catch up on. I'm sorry for those who are waiting. Maybe I'll do one impromptu and then go back to 9.3. Um, and uh, for those who are asking or have said like it's going off to a rough start with a lot of crashes, that's pretty normal for the for any mod. You know, you get a new version you have to iron out the kinks i mean it's gonna just that's just how it is with any mod that's not an actual game that's being made by producers and you know sold for money uh but they are always the lords have always been very good at developing their game quickly fixing anything and uh i imagine that probably things are already starting to go a lot smoother uh but yes i will be going to 9.4 eventually <laughs> uh you gotta give me a chance to catch up on all these awesome replays uh, that I have missed just because I've been so busy. But anyway, back to the battlefield. So you see the Russians are shifting over with Austria. I think they are suspecting that the French, we saw a little bit of French infantry being revealed here on the map. Um, this may be the 11 pointer here. I, I suspect it's the nine points France, Italy, but we will see in a second. Um, but yeah, Austria has taken up this high ground. A lot of artillery ranging up here. I do like that the Russians are bringing cavalry and not just any cab, they're bringing their crossiers, their heavy cab, uh, so they can be a lot more defensive with their armies. Um, in fact, I see a lot of heavy cab. I think they all, they brought, oh, like, all crossiers. And, of course, they brought the Russian guard. Oh, yeah. The Russian guard. You know, my next miniatures that I'm probably going to make could probably be the Russians. Probably going to want some Russian guard infantry. Now, I do like that they also have a good mixture of the Prussian infantry, very good at shooting, very good, not good at melee, but very good at shooting. And then they have, of course, their Russian, you know, brawler infantry to kind of uh, counter and protect those Prussians. Now we're starting to see a little bit more on the French side when it comes to the scouting. Um, both sides obviously have a bit of a screen on both sides. No one really committing necessarily to a cav fight yet. And quite honestly, when, when you see the more veteran players, they usually don't engage in too much cavalry on cav fighting unless they know they have a very, very big win. Just because you want to save your cav to defend your infantry, you know? I mean, you see a lot of uh, people, newer players even, who try to commit to cav fights, and they just both lose all their cavalry, and then you have no advantage. You just got to hope your infantry's better. Um, but you notice with more uh, experienced players, they save their cavalry if they can. More Chasseur Cheval scouting up here. Oh, we have uh, Dragoons. They're going to try to scare off the Austrians who are immediately going to back up. Just a lot of scare tactics. No one really probably wants to actually engage, although that would be a very good fight for France if they caught those Ulanen. 
in a melee. Just like Austria is still shifting over more, Russia may take over this spot. Nice artillery position by Russia with the horse arty. Three guns that can easily maneuver around as needed. Um, and maybe I started off too soon. I thought that, honestly that both sides would, uh, you know, appear sooner. <laughs> uh, but now I haven't seen anything yet. So I may skip ahead if nothing happens for a little bit and uh, go from there. All right, guys, so we're back. So basically all that's happened is the French have formed up. You have artillery that's set up right here. Probably will start firing pretty soon here. You have the Russians and Austrians kind of shuffling around. I think Russia's kind of taken the town area just probably because the melee giant of all three of these factions would have to be Russia. So they definitely want to defend pretty well. There's pioneers in this LOC. Spain has secured the town. Now they do have infantry in both LOCs, I do believe. Not this one actually yet. Uh, but they have taken the town. France obviously sitting pretty far back still. I'm not sure if they're going to actually make an attack or if they're just going to kind of hang out here for a little while. I guess we'll have to see as things develop. But over here you have the French definitely making a very confident at the moment advance. You have the Austrian artillery and Russian artillery. So definitely invested quite heavily in artillery. Very good positioning for their de defenses as their artillery can shoot right over their own line's heads and uh, inflict losses on the French. You can see already hitting some of that French infantry. Now, France has set up their artillery as well, but they are definitely under... They're outnumbered, especially since these are like four, maybe maybe they're six pounders. But they're not going to have very good a range on the uh, enemy position. And I don't know if the French are even advancing over here. Naples is also over here, so we have at least two armies but they're easily matched by the Russians and Austrians. Who are just setting up, and they have some nice sh shelter using these houses. And they got waves upon waves of reinforcements. And like I said, Spain's just kind of chilling here. They have not even been pushed. Yeah, but they are retiring, of course. Um... Kind of retire behind their lines with their cavalry, just gonna wait for the enemy. I'm assuming. Oh, excuse me. And this may turn into a bit of an artillery duel for a little while. general that's actually a really good spot for the general to be able to survey stuff you know like he's he's got the the perfect view here he can see all the lines he can look over and see the spanish over there even the spanish advancing up here with his infantry up in front it's a very cool position cavalry hanging out behind this hill so they're safe and of course the artillery you can see directly where they're shooting and then of course you can't really see the french infantry yet because they are for the most part hiding behind their lines Oh, wow. Okay, Naples is rolling up with a lot more guns. Uh, I'm not sure this is going to turn into a bit of an artillery duel for both sides. I kind of hope not because, you know, that's not very action-packed. But we are seeing more of the French army pushing up here. This may just be a massive, massive battle here for this line. Like, both sides is advancing. That'd be kind of cool to see. You know, that's not something you see very much where both sides just stand there and shoot at each other. There's not really a whole lot of action happening. It can look very cinematic, but probably will quickly get very boring. Um, however, one side will be a, probably a very clear winner. If this turns into a line fight, guys, I think the Coalition will win it. Uh, we have a big... Okay, here we go, here we go. So this is the entirety of the line here. Obviously, a lot of French troops right here, but um, a big contingent, you can see, of Russians pushing on the far flank. So we may have people pushing into the forest on the way far side. Hussar is pushing into support to kind of scout that side. Obviously some French cavalry defending it as well. Naples pushing up. Now Naples may not be the best person to uh, be attacking this LOC. Um, but we will be very interested to see where France pushes. If they even do. They may try to set up their guns and go for an artillery duel of their own. If they feel confident that their artillery can outgun the coalition. Yeah, 
this little contingent, it's like one Russian guard and four musketeers. So I'm assuming they're going to use that guard unit as a kind of squareable. But they got to watch out because one square with four other units and plus these hussars are going to get charged here. So they need to get their butts out of there. They want to live. Because here comes the French hussars. Hot in pursuit. Of course, they do pull it off. And they're going to fall back a little bit. Yeah, both sides being really defensive. Very defensive. I'm surprised we're, unless Russia's going to push here, I'm surprised that they are going all the way out here. Unless they're going to make a flanking attack. Which, you know, that could work out very well. Especially the, if Naples pushes this flank and they wrap around and hit the other side of that flank. That could be a big, you know, big play for them. I'm going to fast forward button while you know, we're recording here just because I want to make sure that we are getting bored here. And we meaning you guys. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, well, making sure, obviously, this is actually entertaining because we're just sitting here watching nothing happen. Um, the French definitely, man, they've set up and they're just getting plastered by artillery. I would have kept them behind the hill until you know we were all ready to form up. I, I mean, the artillery is not going to do a crazy amount of damage. But it's still, it's gonna, it's you're gonna take unnecessary losses, um, especially if they focus on the right units. But yeah, France definitely has formed up now, and um, I'm gonna hope we see some action pretty soon here. Artillery setting up in the front lines here. I'm. Man, I, I wonder if the French don't really have a lot of cavalry. And I'm I'm surprised that the coalition isn't trying to scout the French army to see where their forces are. Got the reserve line. Man, a lot of artillery. Uh-oh. Oh, no. France. Our men are running, sir. France lost a gun. And the artillery is still, you know, in hand. So I guess we will see. Oh, wow. This LOC is getting wrecked. And actually, Austria is getting shredded. So both sides are getting a deadly dose. You can see, look at all the death right here. Man, this is from artillery. Pioneers got out of the LOC so they would not die. I'm over here. Oh, we have, uh, looks like a small contingent of infantry that got, uh, made some contact here. Now they're gonna pull back. More French troops along this right flank. Austria is actually falling back. I don't think they like that. Their infantry are just getting pulverized by French guns. Like I said, both sides are dealing out the damage. You can see the infantry are getting hit right there. And then Spain even has guns up. Man, everybody brought artillery for days. What a, what a shot here, though, you know? Building on fire. Oh, we have some... What are the Russians doing here? Oh, my gosh. What are they doing? Oh, they're going to break. But, hey, we have France making an advance here. France, Italy pushing up here. Using the trees as a good bit of cover. And uh, now Austria and Spain are going to adjust here. The rest of the French army still just getting hammered by artillery. Um, might as well advance and start making some fighting here. Making some moves. Maybe even Naples will push up. We do. Uh oh. I wouldn't try it at this point in time. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I thought Naples was about a point blank in the square. Uh, 
There we go. Naples has troops. Oh, wow. There's a lot more French. Look at this. They're scouting it all. A lot more Imperial forces making their appearance using this clump of trees to kind of push up. Even cavalry was supporting some Chasseur Cheval. And now Austria looks like they're going on the offensive, rushing forward infantry, pushing across this road. Spain even pushing troops. And France is answering in kind, pushing down the hill with the infantry to engage Spain. Now Spain may pull back just a little bit to kind of get a better line, but still France is going to get a volley or two off. And this may be the, the main point of contact here. Now these skirmishers, maybe you put them in light infantry formation, but I think they're fine. You know. They'll take less losses in light infantry formation though. We're definitely starting to see a little more action now. I suspect the coalition is going to let the French push out of that tree line, uh, which may be the best choice at this point. Don't let them take the cover. Make them have to walk out in the open and uh, actually walk right into your artillery pieces. Oh man, that artillery is really chewing up the Austrian line too, though. Cavalry isn't even that safe. Now the Russians are shifting everything back over. I think they realized eh, it wasn't exactly needed um, on the left flank. Austrian artillery it is hidden so it should be safe to push up um, and defend that flank all these guns are gonna be probably brought to bear on this French line on the hillside now the one thing Spain does not really have much of a reserve line I think that's intentional just because of the artillery out there um, I would like to see more of a reserve line to, be able to push up and support that Spanish um, defensive line they do have a little bit here I'm assuming that's just because it's safer but yeah, I mean, France is just getting torn apart here by artillery. Both sides are going to pay a high price for not doing much. Surprised France is not advancing and making a little bit more aggressive. I mean, both sides seem to not be wanting to be too aggressive. Now, technically, the French have to be the aggressors here. They don't have the LOC advantage at the moment. The coalition has it. So the French definitely want to be attacking. I personally think you should always attack um, unless you have really good defensive ground. It's always better to attack. You set the momentum. And uh, France could definitely start to set the momentum. They could choose where to attack. Because right now, the Imperials... I mean, they, or the Coalition's kind of spread out to race for an attack from any point. They can't really concentrate like the French. The French could be moving everything right here. And they could roll right into this line. And Austria and France... Or Austria and Russia over here would have to then push over to defend. And France could potentially roll right into this. Especially if they had a little bit of cavalry. But, you know. It's easier said than done. This is basically a duel of artillery. <laughs> if you love artillery, uh, this be this you'll be in heaven right now, I guess. Because there's plenty of it. Thank you. 
Yeah, there's just not a lot of... Really... Oh, oh, here we go. All right, we have France making a move. Look at this. This is like France, Italy did shift over. So Spain is about to get hit by maybe two French armies, a nine and 11 pointer. All at the same time, you can see he's pushing troops up into the town. We have cavalry that actually pushed in as well. Some chassis, oh no, some dragoons. Um, Spain probably is gonna need to start shuffling over a lot more troops onto this side. Naples taking up maybe the center line. So Austria could potentially a counter attack um, across the uh, the road as they're just sitting here in a defensive position. Our men are running. Imagine if all this just rolled up here. Naples probably doesn't have a lot, but they may also want to shuffle it over to help Spain out in their defense. This French attack seems to be going a little more serious. Howbeit, this is going to be a very, very tough attack for the French as artillery is going to be just real close to them. And quite honestly, actually, I think this artillery can't shoot at these troops anymore. They may have to be in danger of hitting their own troops. But here we go, guys. This is what I was expecting to see. The French advance. They're having to push out of that tree line, going straight in. Austria's forming up to kind of have a defensive line. Looks like Naples is actually going to take up the flank. And France pushing in for the LOCs, potentially. Send in their guard units. We may have some cavalry making some action here. Oh, we have Spain getting charged in melee. A good volley that may break that first French attack, but you see... A lot more infantry and cavalry charging in here. Dragoons from France trying to set the pace here. Let's see where they try to make their charge. There's no squares here, but France is obviously going to scramble. Make a square here. Cavalry from Russia going in to kind of make a defensive charge if need be as France is closing in on Spain. Spain even sending in some of their cavalry, so France definitely is not going to do too well in that fight at the moment. You can see having have units breaking potentially. Naples is going to take on that fight with Austria. Spain actually not doing too hot in this initial fight. But now Austria is kind of supporting them. They may do a little bit better. They, of course, are making a little distance between themselves and the French attack. And France has two units already that have broken, but they're going to keep pushing forward. That actually gives them a little more space. And a section of the town now is theirs as they are about to push across this road that kind of divides the town in half. We will probably see a bayonet charge into this LOC. Our men are running, sir. Oh, someone's running. Here we go, Spain's in Russia, being defensive here, a nice Carrossier charge. Ooh, we're gonna, get, uh, we're gonna get a volley on the flank of these Carrossiers though, that is not gonna be very healthy. As this street fight is now gonna become well, still just the far flank fight, but still going to be very vicious. Like I said, the LOC definitely being fought over. France is trying to push forward with... Ooh. Oh, it wasn't a general. That was his cavalry. Naples is getting wrecked here, though. Um, the artillery seems probably going to start focusing them down. Yeah, you can see. It's brutal. If I was Naples, I would fall back. In fact, this whole flank, I would fall it back using the town or using this forest as my anchor and let the this attack kind of be a little more serious. Ooh, nice charge flank and then on the front of this guard, Spanish guard. This 
Bane's gonna reinforce this, sending in another unit of line infantry. France is not gonna win this shootout with Spain. If they can take his LLC though, I think they can definitely start tipping the scales back in their favor. France having some breaking as Russia went in with some of their cavalry, some Gasaris, and then I see some heavy Spanish cav as well. And now they're gonna carry that cavalry charge into the next reserve French line infantry. And this LOC fight is turning a bit messy for both sides, but it definitely looks like France is on the worst end of that fight. We've seen a lot of French breaking. Yep, even this line and cavalry doing quite well. However, oh, that's actually French Dragoons. Ooh, they're breaking the Spanish flank. And now these crossiers may get flanked as they're engaging with some more French infantry. We'll see how that goes. France still pushing forward here. Ooh, that's not going to hold up. On the other side, Naples just holding their lines for now. I think they're pushing up just enough to maybe try to get out of the artillery's range. But artillery seems to have their number and has some nice gaps in between the lines to be able to really attack. I still think France is outgunned here, though. A very effective uh, French cab charge here. It's kind of messy. France may lose this LOC fight actually, after all. And it does like their cavalry. Ooh, we have a town square fight. Some uh, dragoons chasing down some chasseurs cheval from France. And the town may be saved as now Russia has some infantry they are going to push into this fight as well. Yeah, this is not this is not going too well for France. That initial house fight and town fight seems to have gone rather badly for them. They've taken a lot more losses. And uh, with Russia now backing up, I don't think there's a lot of cavalry support, All but there's a little bit. I think Yeah, I think the uh, I think the coalition have it for now. And Austria is still looking very strong. It has plenty of reserves against Naples. Although I think this artillery is really driving a pretty pretty high cost for Austria in this part portion of the line, probably with all this artillery focusing it. Which is good. You should focus your artillery on one spot and try to just absolutely, you know, decimate their lines. It could cause a lot of morale issues. And Spain's actually looking kind of weak right here, especially with Austria having pulled back. Spain need to pull, may need to pull back as well. I think they're doing it, but maybe it's too late. I'm not totally sure. And Chasseur Cheval tie up some Spanish lines. Some more Dragoons now charging in. Spain able to form a square. Yeah, France pushing forward here as Spain's trying to get themselves out of that position. Dragoons breaking some of these Spanish lines. And France. They push some forward, some infantry. Spain's is going to kind of be a little more defensive here. In fact, their guns will now be brought way more into play for Russia in Austria. And now Naples is starting to push forward a lot more numbers. A lot more reinforcements. Maybe to replace some of those tired French troops that have been fighting for a little while. And France actually seems to be going once again in for the attack. I'm, we may see a Russian bayonet charge on the flank using this town. We will see.
Oh wow, we have Austria entirely pulling back. They they just like this whole center, they kind of pulled back. And I think they're gonna let the guns have a little play. A little free play here, being able to shoot at basically anything. Um, Naples is a good unit to, uh, or army to go for. They have, their morale is probably going to be the weakest. And they're going to be most susceptible to some morale crashes. Um, but Naples does have a lot of troops on the field right now. And you can see France actually inching around the flank as well. I'm not too worried though for the coalition. They still have plenty of reserves and plenty of good cavalry, including those crossiers, which could totally just ruin Naples' day. So Spain has actually fallen back, I think, enough to where their guns can finally start supporting their line again. Just so like France is going to roll up a reserve, some light infantry. Spain has actually held the right flank here. So even though France is pushed across this road, Spain and Russia are just holding here. All these Prussians, some excellent shooting. I think these guys have like 70 to 68 reload speed, so they can shoot faster than the French can, probably. Um, but they're terrible in morale. They're t morale in melee. They're not as great, but boy, can they shoot well. And they have cavalry supporting them, so they should be all right. France go for the flank though. This Russian guard definitely is gonna have the work cut out for them. They got a contingent of French troops pushing the right flank. They're gonna have to deal with that. Let's see the Austrian general. He's looking at maybe a definitely challenging fight still. His left flank, the building that he they were told to hold is still holding but is in flames. Naples is pushing forward with a lot of infantry, and France is kind of pushed back his ally, Spain, who's now leaking back up with him. Artillery doing an excellent job. This guy, this is going to be huge. 12 pounders firing this close. He's going to get a lot of kills now. These Dragoons are going for a sacrificial charge. This whole front line is going to die. That's not going to work. Brave Dragoons, though, you know, they, they they did make a sacrifice, unfortunately, for nothing. But I guess now there's a gap where stakes get... Ooh, hold that thought. We have a Russian counter char. Oh, my gosh. Grossier smash into the line. Here we go. Russia's going for the melee against Naples. This is definitely the faction to focus down. Naples and France still have infantry up here, but you can see Russia going in the morale, plummeting for Naples. Now Russia took some volleys point blank so these guys are wavering but the melee brawler Russia is going full on into the Naples line. And it is starting to really really hurt Naples. And we may have a mass route on our hands from Naples. So many troops running so many men in this fight right now and half of them are running away look at that look at that holy smokes man our men are running sir. I'm counting at least 11 12 13 line infantry units that have broken so far potentially even more now we do have France pushing forward, but some Dragoons countercharge to stop them from harassing the flank. And they break them, and this battle has just turned into a total victory here for Russia on the flank. These guys are going to wade through and probably slaughter multiple, multiple Neapolitan troops here, and they probably won't come back. I would send a cab unit and try to kill as many as possible so they can't come back. Naples needs to pull away from this mass of routing troops so as to not let his men get the debuff from so many troops breaking at once. You also have that crossier charging into the French lines and unfortunately out of nowhere along all sides. What the heck is this? France went for a flanking attack. Wow.
Reyes tried going for the hill attack, but unfortunately it may be too little too late as the entire center of the French line is basically all but crumbled. Now Naples does have a reserve line. And Russia is kind of content to back off and not push this. I mean, there's only 14 minutes remaining. If we start looking at the LOCs, there is definitely, you have the one, two, three LOCs plus a four pointer in the back. Oh, they have this one technically too. They just had to put something in it. But that's, you know, one, two, three, four. That's eight versus will be seven for the French. So the French have to take it if they want to win this. And I don't think they're going to, so I think this is going to be a decisive victory for the Coalition. But we can keep watching and see if the French maybe make some kind of a last-ditch attempt. If they can take the town, in just the town, they may actually win this by LOC victory. Oh, Austria went for the guns, and looks like they are going to break both of them. Wow, going straight for that French line. Crazy Ulanen. I'm just getting the passport button because I just like the coalition is uh, just, you know, stand on the ground. The French will be falling back. Now, maybe we have a French attack happening right here. I mean, they have got nothing else they can do except for, you know, keep attacking here. And that's what they're probably going to keep doing. to have a guard, Russian guard, or in a volley, this is going to be brutal. I want to see the damage done to the French lines. If they even shoot. Hi Naples, France back at it again. I mean, you know, props to them for not giving up. I just want to see these guys shoot, that's all. Come on. Come on, shoot. Please shoot. Please. Y'all need to, you need to, oh my gosh, why aren't they shooting? Oh, I guess they were shooting before. I was hoping to see a withering volley. Now I'm surprised maybe the Russia and you know, this whole line isn't really attacking anymore. Like I said, they're just being defensive, guys. They're probably just playing it safe. Um, making sure they don't just collapse. I'm going to hit the small fast forward button. Um, now this French line, I think, is just going to basically make their last stand here and uh, fight to the bitter end. I think actually both sides are going to probably do that. Um, oh, wow. We have Austria over here just running down all these poor Naples and French we troops that have run. Wow. 
Brantz uh, went in for the general charge, it would appear. And uh, he has lost his general. In a brave last hand, I'm assuming that's one of them right there, but... We have killed their general, sir. Now they must Oh break. my gosh, where? There we go. That's it. We also have, yep, cavalry collapsing in on the French army. Constant battering what's left of France is getting kind of smacked around. What's left of Naples is trying to defend against cavalry in the back lines. Well, um, that's basically the battle, I think. LSC-wise, obviously, the Coalition win, and then I think pretty obvious that they've taken the field as well. Um, well they're they're going to keep it in that square. That's gay. Austrians could charge in and break that. But I think what kind of, what kind of uh, hurt the French, I think they tried to uh, attack along in a, a very long range instead of focusing. Um... And they didn't really use their cav. I, I saw a little bit of cavalry action from the French. Um, but not a lot. Not a lot of very good cav. Um, and you saw when they did have some good cav charges, they were breaking, you know, Spain. Um, but I think they... I think they tried to... They were... They were... How do you... How do you formulate... Because they did... They did a good attack and they were winning in some ways. But I think they definitely... Um, weren't aggressive enough, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I think the coalition just had the better cav advantage, and so it's kind of difficult to be the Imperials and depend on just your infantry to make an attack without having a good cav support. Um, and that may have been, at the very end, what, what swept them under the rug and cost them the win. I'm going to actually fast forward all the way because it looks like poor Naples is just getting just hit from all sides by all sorts of enemies and there's one unit here one unit left but yeah um you guys put in the comments what you think you know what 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 kind of maybe cost the imperials the victory um maybe committing this town they should have committed a lot more on the flank maybe if they had committed a little bit more onto this flank and not just on this side where spain was i mean once they saw that spain was here i think they could have marched way more over and taken you know the two LOCs on this side and uh, then let the Spanish try to counterattack them and just hold strong. They had a lot of good artillery positions. They could have shifted over um, to, you know, take more of this town versus taking the high ground. I mean, the coalition had such an excellent position with their artillery. Uh, it was pretty crazy to try to attack that. But they were brave enough to attempt it. Uh, let me pull up the results here. So you can see on the French side, you have Francis. He got uh, 1504 for the kills. Drogo, 1308. And uh, Victor with 1563 on the other side. Oh man, Justin, 594 as France, Italy. You have J. Davy with 935 and Jacques with 726. Um, yeah, I mean they they uh, definitely they definitely got outplayed by the definitely the coalition had a better position, and that's what won them the day. And the French just went up right into a well defended position. And they fought hard, but unfortunately did not take the win. Um, but yeah, now that'll be it for me today, guys. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed. You guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, I will catch you all in another video.